in this video interview, we are having a look at effective self-forgiveness. Now, um, this video interview is particularly in context to those that are starting their self-forgiveness process and some even that has walked a while may find this existent within their self-forgiveness process and statements. So what we're going to have a look at here within the context of effective self-forgiveness is making sure that one is in fact within one's self-forgiveness walking one's mind consciousness system within and as the equal detail that it exists as. So you want your self-forgiveness to be equal to and one with the detail as what your mind consciousness system exists as because if one simply do one's self-forgiveness kind of washy-washy, um, unspecified, expansive, or all over the place. Um, Self-forgiveness then only becomes statements that has no physical, real, practical self-context within the walking of one's process to one's mind consciousness system, where self-forgiveness is the actual release of oneself as the mind consciousness system uh, to be able to see realize and understand what self has accepted and allowed and self-forgiveness is the key to seeing realizing and understanding what it is that self has accepted and allowed self to be and become as the mind and within that one will at the same time see how it is that self can assist and support self to change so uh, many that has worked self-forgiveness effectively has seen for themselves, experienced for themselves, realized for themselves that it is only within the walking of self-forgiveness that these points start opening up and you start really realizing that, oh my God, this is what I've done. This is how I've done it. And within that, oh my God, I see how I can change. So... Here are some additional support and assistance to make sure that when self-forgiveness doesn't just become statements, that it is an actual tool that self is walking and living and applying as self in walking through one's mind consciousness system equal to and one with the detail, specificity and precision that self has programmed it as self um, so that one makes sure that one actually walk all the steps, step by step by step, down, down, down the rabbit hole whole okay let's get into it effective self-forgiveness now initially yes when you start it is perfectly okay to first become comfortable with self-forgiveness where you will do your basic self-forgiveness statements like i forgive myself that i've accepted and allowed myself to fear driving I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to fear crossing the road. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to be angry at my sister. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to be frustrated with my mother. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to resist writing. So obviously your self-forgiveness will be simple, direct statements um, because you're still aligning yourself with self-forgiveness in itself and within the direct immediate short statements one is kind of getting a nah, feel for lack of a better word for who self is within self-forgiveness feel please i'm not meaning energy feel i mean like a like you're busy establishing an agreement with this new application or word that is self-forgiveness and you are in your statement walking of the self-forgiveness like establishing your self-agreement is how you will be walking your self-forgiveness for yourself um, so it's cool in the beginning especially for those starting to speak the one-line statements however one must realize see and understand that one's mind consciousness system is x more vast than that for example experiencing um, frustration towards your mother uh, frustration in itself exists within various contexts of uh, 
extremities of how one can experience and feel frustration in the first place and then experiencing frustration also within context of other parts and forms within one's life and past memories and past experiences and work and obligations and it's a whole multi-dimensional network of things so just in the word frustration and just in the word mother one can open a massive internal mind consciousness system network uh, within one's world and one's reality so once one has become comfortable uh, with the one immediate direct statement self-forgiveness is it is to assist and support self to um, go back uh, and one can take each and every single individual sentence and open it up more for self going through from one can say that your direct immediate statements are more your conscious mind self-forgiveness statements uh, where one is like wording one's conscious mind thoughts or experiences that one is generally conscious of within one's world and one's reality within only the dimension of thoughts within one's conscious and subconscious mind however the mind consciousness system within this multidimensional context uh, it's then required to go deeper to go into other layers and dimensions within one's conscious subconscious and unconscious mind to have a look at taking one's self forgiveness to the point of actual self responsibility like through writing self forgiveness on frustration towards your mother one have a look at how one had created that frustration in the first place why did one create that frustration in the first place towards one's mother where did it start where did it come from was it through time was it an event was it a memory uh, was it because she reminded you of someone I mean the point of self-forgiveness is to getting to know yourself as your mind consciousness system which means you've got to dig into yourself and go through those layers and ask the questions uh, to find out for self through self again this in walking self as one's mind consciousness system while at the same time releasing that uh, separate that relationship of separation as one's mind consciousness system and at the same time realizing seeing and understanding what one accepted and allowed so self-forgiveness in itself is also multi-dimensional with what one walk as self in walking self again this in relation to a particular point so let's have a look at some questions that one can ask for oneself um, as one is walking self-forgiveness on a particular specific point um, and one's one statement was i forgive myself that i've accepted and allowed myself to experience frustration towards my mother and now one look at that statement and one for example hit a blank remember that blank is a mind consciousness system protection and defense mechanism tool for self to not go deeper into self to really investigate um, what it is that self accepted and allowed within that frustration and um, so what one does with the mind in such situation is one take oneself just to the physical and one write it out that is, is what's so cool about physical actual doing within writing and self-forgiveness one make it physical and practical because when one just start looking for things in your mind the mind can very easily utilize all its protection and defense mechanisms to in how self programmed it obviously to defend and protect itself and its own existence and survival so it's a system i mean we created ourselves into such details specificity and precision that we've got all our protection and defense mechanism on a roll within ourselves to have made sure that we don't in fact change which is a point that we'll all constantly walk through as we walk through our process um, that's what resistance is primarily it's one of the primary manifestations of the mind in terms of energy to try and stop self from actually standing as a self within self and walking through one's mind consciousness system so if one hit a blank go to the questions ask yourself these questions um, why am i frustrated with my mother and then one can go deeper if a why doesn't bring up a point one can ask 
uh, where did the frustration towards my mother start? And then when, then for example, something comes up with himself, we remember, oh yeah, she asked me to do the dishes. And you reacted in frustration uh, when she asked you to do the dishes and um, you initially told her no and then she yelled and complained and then you eventually gave in and you did the dishes in frustration okay so now you've got your point of where it start now obviously one has got to go and find out uh, one can go back why am i frustrated with my mother meaning uh, what is the cause what is the source of the frustration how did i create the frustration please everyone uh, utilize the all these questions that i'm asking because it'll assist and support you with getting into the specificity of points and how self is accepting and allowing self to create reactions towards others um, then one can go back to why am i frustrated and what was the cause or source of the frustration uh, that you experienced towards your mother and you found out okay it was when she asked you to do the dishes but again one must see realize and understand within that that the dishes with your mother is an external event or manifestation the frustration is still internal you created that experience of frustration towards her the frustration is what you must take self responsibility for so then the question is like uh, where did the frustration come from why did i get frustrated uh, then one realized that one got frustrated because one you had to study and you didn't have enough time and then you realized that uh, you took out your own frustration about not having enough time out on your mother and the whole point accumulated into a possessive state where you just ended up being totally frustrated with your mother and now you had to like walk this whole process of asking these questions for yourself to find out where it all started from um, so initially all of this asking the questions you'll do for yourself in writing you want to take it back to yourself so obviously you start with your sentence started with i forgive myself for being frustrated with my mother now you want to take that sentence into bringing it back to self self-responsibility because yes the frustration was experienced towards your mother but you created that frustration you want to find out how you created that frustration so that you can assist and support yourself to interact with your reality and stability and not with frustration i mean it's a lot more of a comfortable living experience in this already fucked up world to have to go through it in frustration unnecessarily than to just walk it in stability and breath so go from i forgive myself that i've accepted and allowed myself to experience frustration towards my mother ask yourself okay why was i frustrated with my mother where did that frustration come from how did i create that frustration uh, why did i exert it towards her why did i project it towards her um, because taking dishes would for example be again time and i would waste time doing dishes when i could have studied so and again when self-forgiveness once one has asked the questions and one got to the realization that the one created the frustration because of time within one's own world and context that again takes one to one's next door of self-forgiveness which you see okay you reacted in relation to time and then when self-forgiveness will open a whole other door of frustration in relation to time so one then get to that point a bit later on but for now one has to walk through the self-forgiveness of how you created the frustration in the first place so you say when you've asked and walked all the questions you've seen the play out uh, you were getting something to drink your mother asked you to wash uh, the dishes you were on your way back to go and study um, you got frustrated because you experienced within yourself you didn't have enough time your mother complained and whined and yelled and you gave in and you did it in frustration so for that whole play out you want to apply self-forgiveness because it still exists as a memory within you and if one do not release that moment within oneself through self-forgiveness what will happen is it will be those or such moments that accumulate as layers as memories within yourself and then for example something will happen with your mother one day again 
and it'll just be frustration that's blowing out and totally possessing you because she ticked off um, as an external event that whole memory system within yourself that was accumulating as frustration within you that you didn't work through or release effectively and uh, then it had to go into position for you to pay attention to the frustration instead of taking self-responsibility and releasing it so walk the timeline i forgive myself that i've accepted and allowed myself to become frustrated when my mother asked me to do the dishes because i was actually just getting something to drink and i was on my way to study and the frustration came up because i felt that i didn't have enough time to finish my studies I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to react in frustration uh, towards my mother even more when she started whining and complaining and yelling uh, because I felt that she put me in a position where I was forced and obligated to do the dishes and uh, the frustration even accumulated more because I was again going back to not having enough time for my studies. I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to do the dishes in frustration. I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to, in that frustration, have back chat in my mind towards my mother for um, having me do the dishes where I even went as far as yelling at her in my mind. Um, I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to hold on to this frustration for so long. Um, so they're just examples of applying self-forgiveness for the moment. It's, please, again, it's just examples. You can go much deeper into that whole moment for yourself and um, <clears throat> then one take it through into one's frustration with time and then you walk to your point of I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to take my own frustration of myself that I created within myself with not having enough time and took it out on my mother so your self-forgiveness will always be in the context of self-responsibility um, careful also of that tendency to place names and people within oneself forgiveness within the context of uh, blaming them like for example if one's self forgiveness now was in the context of store frustration one would go into detail one's self forgiveness would contain detail about your mother instead of detail about your taking self responsibility for yourself so then it will be like I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to be frustrated with my mother yelling at me the whole time because she yelled at me the whole time and she made me frustrated. I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to be frustrated with my mother because she just wouldn't stop asking me this and that and that and because she wouldn't stop asking me this and that and that I became frustrated. So see, there's just an example of where you're taking it to your mother and then making her the cause or origin for why you're frustrated. Your self-forgiveness will always be in line with, I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to become frustrated towards my mother because I accepted and allowed myself to um, be judgmental of the amount of time I have. So your self-forgiveness will always come back to self uh, within your statements and it will be an actual taking and a realization of what self accepted and allowed. It is never to do with another. Another may be like a momentary point to show a part of ourselves that we're accepting and allowing. And um, you can obviously mention a person within the context like you did, I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to be frustrated with my mother. But that can be like that one statement as like an introduction statement to give context of where it all started. And then you can go deeper within your self-forgiveness and bring it back to self to where you realized, okay, I was taking out my frustration onto her that I created because of my point that I'm facing in relation to time. Okay, so you're just an example of how to walk effective self-forgiveness um, and how effective self-forgiveness will always take one deeper into oneself and opening up more and more and more points so here that one example with the mother taking it to the point of frustration and time and then one can even go into time itself what is one's relationship to time why did one accept and allow feelings and emotions and definitions in relation to time 
um, then one can take frustration in itself, have a look at all people, situations, events that one is experiencing frustration towards, walk the practical, physical timeline of oneself forgiveness, make it as specific as possible and as and with context to the particular point that self is facing as much as possible. Keep it in line, space, time, walk the actual practical, physical events. Okay, thank you very much.